I knew we were going to get at least one Civ that thrived in the Tundra. It was very odd to me that in Civ 5 there was no base game Civ that messed around in this location. There are a lot of mods that uh, improved upon this, but I'm extremely excited to see Rush is going to get faith and production from Tundra Tiles. So here's Peter the Great looking all Captain Hook from Peter Pan with that just awesome mustache. Like, man, he's looking, he's looking cool. I definitely would like to be this guy's friend. But at the same time, as an AI, Russia is going to be, I think, pretty frustrating, actually. His leader ability is the Grand Embassy, and it allows him to receive science or culture from trade routes to more advanced players. We've seen this kind of quite a few times inside of other civilizations, kind of more incentives to trade and, and to focus on, you know, choosing the right route. Um, so that is nice and all, but I'm really way more interested in the special ability. Russia gets extra territory with each city founded. I count eight tiles in this screenshot. Pretty huge boost. I mean, this is very Shoshone-like from Civilization V, um, but Russia is going to be able to do this kind of with a one-two punch because he also gets the second part to the special ability, they also receive the additional faith and production from Tundra Tiles, as I said in the intro. That is so good. Like, I am just so excited. I didn't I didn't consider they would be using Russia for, you know, being that sieve that can settle in the Tundra, but I just feel like all the games I've played so far in Civilization VI, the Tundra is just so uninteresting. Man, if Russia is going to be in your game, not only will they be expanding and grabbing way more territory than I think a lot of us expect, but they'll probably be approaching you for some of those some of those like tundra tiles that you don't want to settle i bet you late game boom peter will just swoop in there and just be like yo what's up and he's going to be right there next to you and it's uh it's going to be pretty interesting his unique unit the cossack is a cavalry replacement with increased attack stats and the ability to move after attacking i did not think we were going to see a unit like this in civilization 6 because of the way Units like the Arabian Camel Archer in Civ 5 were so successful, like the Kashyyyk from Mongolia were so successful. I, I didn't think we were going to see anything that was going to be able to attack and then run away. Um, this is a cavalry unit, and I'm trying to find something in here that that doesn't make this super OP, but uh, you know we'll have to wait and see. This is, looks like this looks like one of the best unique units in the game. Finally, their unique building, great people used in this city with this same building will give an extra tile to city's cultural border. So not only will they be receiving the, you know, possibly eight extra tiles upon settling a new city, but you still can expand with with just this unique building and, and using great people in that same city. Now, if you guys know my strategy, I'm a big fan of purchasing tiles, and I feel like Civ 6 wants to maybe incentivize the player to... Is that a word? I don't know. Incentivize the player to purchase more tiles. It seems like border growth is not as fast as it was in Civ 5. I am really excited to play as Russia because I don't have to worry about always purchasing tiles with all of these kind of combination of this special ability and this unique building. My final thoughts, Russia is all about being a huge empire. I think we're going to see a lot of screenshots when Civ 6 comes out of this AI going nuts. And whenever, whenever we do our first AI only battle here on this channel, I think that Russia is, is definitely going to be constantly in the kind of maybe top three spots. They're just going to have so much territory every single time. They can go for a religion if they have a lot of tundra tiles. Um, they have quite possibly the best unique unit in the game. They're going to continue to be able to spread their tiles with this unique building. And they're going to get a little, you know, a little bit of extra culture and science if they need to. I'm so glad that they waited to announce Russia because they're honestly one of the best. I would say definitely this sieve is within my top three most powerful sieves so far announced in Civilization VI. And I'm really excited to play against these guys. Uh, I, I can already tell I'm going to be ripping my hair out because they're just going to be gobbling up so much land. And uh, it's going to be a, a complete mess. But if you want more leader breakdowns, you already know where to go. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.